Okay, hi students. Uh, this is Mr. Fong here. In today's lesson, I would like to show you um, how to break an object into multiple smaller objects uh, which can be printed in multiple colors if you do not have a color 3D printer. Okay, it's a bit complicated. That is why I prefer to record down in a video form. Okay, so if you are uh, doing it at home, you can refer to this video. Okay, the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to search a software called Mesh Mixer. Okay, you can type the word Mesh Mixer, M E S H M I X E R, Mesh Mixer download, uh, and you will be able to see. Um, if you are using Windows, usually they give a Windows uh, Windows Mesh Mixer. Okay, just click this one. Uh, okay, you can just click in. Okay. And what you need to do if you are doing at home is you can just click this uh, in window in English installer to start download. Uh, it's quite big, so I I already installed this into my computer here. So if you are installing at home, you can install this. Uh, if you are using a Mac version, then what you need to do is you search uh, Mesh Mixer Mac download, and they will give you a link to download the Mac version. Eh? Okay, so if you ask me Mesh Mixer, I think this is the download Mac, something like this. So you can go for this uh, Mesh Mixer for uh, Mac, uh, for this Mac, Mac version, uh, somewhere yep, here, okay, another platform. If you have finished download, just run it and you will be able to see this software. It's by Autodesk. You can search um, information on Autodesk reg uh, regarding the license uh, in order at the Autodesk website. For, I think it's at somewhere at forum.autodesk.com. Uh, it did mention uh, this software is now free, whether it's for a profit or non profit company. So you can just download and use it at home. I found it is very powerful because most of you already master the basic skill of 3D modeling. What you need to do now is uh, you are going to do some complicated uh, uh, mixing of objects. So what are the, uh, I would I would take an example here. Let's go to Thinkiverse. Um, you can search for a pro uh, item called Swing Cat. Okay, swing cat. So I want to look for something complicated so that we can break it down. Okay, this is a sample of a uh, swing cat from this uh this uh, person. Okay, you can click uh, on this person. Um, okay, not not bad. Uh, you can see everything very colorful. Uh, but this is not. I think this is not a real printout. Uh, so if you want to see some of the some of the remix, you can see this is my remix. Uh, is remixed by me. I separate all the files. Uh, it's very cute. I, this is a real printout. I have printed out um, and uploaded here with all the files. But this is for just for for you to have a look. Okay, you don't need to use this file. What you need to do is you need to click on this one. Download all files to download the the swing cat. Okay, uh, you can see you you will download this file, SwingCat zip file. Remember, after you download the file, you have to unzip the file. There is only one file here, and this file is about six megabyte. Um, uh, just unzip it. If you are using a Mac, you can just unzip it. So if you are win window for me, I, j I can just right click it. I just copy after that. I can just paste it at any directory I want. Uh. Okay. Now the first step is done. Okay, your first step will be download the Mesh Mixer into your computer. Double click, install it. Then go to Thingiverse, search for this uh, item called Swing Cat. Uh, download it and unzip the file. Okay, let's assume this I have been completed. Now you open the Autodesk Mesh Mixer, the software that you have just downloaded. Um, I have imported this file before, so I have a recent file. You can see, take a swing cat printing .stl file. Yeah. This is one whole file, okay, which is not very good, okay. So what do we need to do is uh, you can you can cl click Control A if you're on a Windows or Command A if you're on a Mac. 
after that you go to edit edit here there is a function called separate shells okay click on separate separate shells and now you notice that your object has been separated into different different smaller objects yeah? you can now export all these objects part by part now you can see how many smaller objects you have so for example in order to print this part you can export this part out but i will prefer personally i'll prefer to export like this then uh, what you need to click is go to the file export and now you choose the stl so in this case you can swing, uh, just just give it a name maybe this is a, a bar okay then you save okay now this section has been exported out okay you can use this uh, section uh, to print in one single color and you can export another part for example this one and this one you can export the cat you can combine multiple item uh, multiple objects like this holding down the shift key um, so I can export one cat and I can print uh, the, the cat at one time and one cat at one time so I can print it as one color the other cat as another color even though I have a color bamboo lab P1S uh, printer I would still prefer to do it one by one uh, so you so that you can have um, uh, uh, the color uh, and and you can save a lot of filament if you print entire object in one shot you will waste a lot of filament in the support uh, not only that the printout will not in good quality too so that is the problem okay now this I have shown you how to how to separate uh, one file into many the second thing you might concern uh, let me have a look press con okay now I can uh, let's redo uh, by reasoning opening reason file again okay this is the one let's see I can um, Control A, I select all, and then I go to edit, and there is one function called reduce. Okay, in this reduce function is for you to make your file smaller so that you can import it into uh, your Tinkercad for editing. Uh, other than this method, you also can use the previous method I show you. You export a uh, part by part and then you can import into your tinker cap uh, part by part so if you look at there are three options here of course the first one is percentage the second one is this triangle budget is like um, low poly low poly objects so if you look at some of the dinosaur dogs or whatever objects that have a very poly looks uh, that is using this method uh, using triangle budget we prefer max deviation in here then um, shape pre preservation select percentage you can set uh, up, up to you now is 50% um, this one you can set to 0 0.01 uh. after that you can just accept then your computer will process it and later on what you do is you can export this one out uh, okay SVG is very depend only with simple shapes so for complicated shape like this you can't so you have to use the normal export method and now you can see you have a STL file okay so you can do an experiment by yourself by uh, comparing the size of the object before you do this and uh, after you have done this uh, how much you have reduced because if we select 50% let's see after we reprocess uh, how much it has reduced uh, other than we select percentage I think what we have done is we have um, select another options uh, in here the max deviation uh, to 0 0.01 um, this will also greatly reduce the size there are many other options in here very useful that's why this software is very good if you are really interested in um, 3d modeling uh, it's very good it is important that you in install this software into your on your computer and you can do more complicated objects uh, that is what i can teach you uh, on the second last lesson in this academic year okay so try it and i will go through with you during the lessons uh, today's lesson. Eh? Okay. Thank you.